hi there welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is lillian if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in i appreciate you so if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button okay and turn on the bell so that anytime i drop a new video youtube will notify you so now let's head straight into the very topic of the day you are coming to ghana this christmas right in case you are looking to visit or you're looking to move in here you have an idea of what to expect so this one is for those that are looking to visit especially this christmas or if you are coming all the way from canada ukraine russia italy germany the uk the united states of america kenya nigeria uganda cameroon name them all over the world jerusalem you're coming from all of these places please don't get stuck in a crap alone and go back and say i i was in ghana i know ghana no i want to help you in respect when you tell people you you been you've been to ghana before want to impress a ghanaian friend of yours or someone or anybody that you may meet when you return back to your base i want to recommend places for you to visit that will leave you memorize you know it will leave you wow it will leave you falling in love with how beautiful ghana is first on the list i strongly believe that you should visit akosombo number one on the list please definitely is a place i will always recommend for tourists and because yeah when you get there it's gonna worth every minute of your time every single bit of your penny is gonna worth it you're gonna love the ambience if you are the type that love nature i mean please don't forget to visit akosombo that place is underrated it should be one of the most tourist att attraction centers in west africa apart from obudukatu ranch in nigeria apart from that place give it up to akosombo in fact they are not there's no similarity anyway i'm just talking about places that i personally want to go spend my money in west africa obudukatu ranch and of course akosombo so in ghana definitely try and visit Akosombo. You are going to love it. It's extremely clean, quiet, simple, nothing much, but nature at its peak and you are going to love it. All right. And you are going to extend your stay. If you plan to stay just a day, we're going to want to stay a day or two more extra. But Akosombo is that it's not far from Accra. It's about three hours from Accra to Akosombo, if not less. But let's just say three hours but definitely less than three hours and you are going to have the fun of your life and thank me later number two on the list is Kweu. that is located at the eastern region of ghana and definitely a place that i would recommend for any tourist i have actually booked someone to go to Kweu. Even without meeting me, yeah, she was looking for where to go to that would leave her feeling a certain way. And I said, she described how she wanted to feel. And I told her to go to Kweu, and she did. And she was extremely thankful. She was happy. So you go to Kweu, okay? Apart from the fact that it's different out there, the weather is so good. The weather is amazing. The people are welcoming and it's just one incredibly simple place and natural place that will leave you feeling great. Try and visit Kweu and if I were you, I will make my way to the Aflam Plains and see nature at its peak. How God created that part of Ghana definitely something to see the fun thing is i have recommended that place for two people three what am i saying i've recommended that place for three youtubers and they were not disappointed one of them is jasmine ama and i told her visit this place and thank me later and she did she visited there she was happy i saw the video she made from there so many youtubers have visited that place costy of me i recommended it and they went and they were not disappointed so if you can make your way to aflam plains it's just about an hour from from Preyeso to aflam plains about an hour and every bit of your time is going to worth it especially if you are a content creator you want to see nature that have not been tempered with make your way to our flam plains and thank me later all right come back and tell me thank you don't forget to thank me ahead the third place i would recommend you visit if you come to ghana be it this christmas or any other time don't just stop in accra and go back is kumasi 
at the Ashanti region of Ghana. Such a big, busy, everybody is selling and buying, everybody is busy, things are happening. It's a very busy, it's a New York, Lagos of Ghana. Lagos, Nigeria, and New York of America, that is the New York of Ghana. I mean, Kumasi is quite busy. Everybody is up to something, doing things, but yet you're going to love it, okay? And things are a lot cheaper over there. The price of something you buy here, when you go to Kumasi, you definitely buy it for below the price you buy anywhere else in Ghana. Go there and thank me later. Apart from that, you may never have been to Ghana before, but you have read a lot of the history of Ghana, of the people of Ghana, and some of the histories are from that region. It makes sense that you visit. The day I visited the Meshai Palace, it left me with a lot of answered questions in my head regarding the Yasatwa, how the, the Ghanaian people were able to be free from the colonial masters. If you visit that region of Ghana, you're going to see the history of most part of Ghana in practical, and I recommend you visit Kumasi. Number, number four on the list is Keta, Ghana, at the Volta region of Ghana. Definitely highly recommended for the clean beaches. Like they, are, they have some great beaches over there, and they have one of the resorts that I love so much. They call it Aborigin. Uh, Aborigin, uh, yeah, something like that, I think. Aborigin uh, is a place you're going to love if you want to spend time, enjoy your time, enjoy your money, enjoy peace of mind, enjoy nature and everything in one place. Keta is highly recommended. So many places to visit. They have the slave castle over there. That holds more practical history than any other slave castle you ever visit in Africa. Because this one, I could see practical history of the existence of these colonial masters. I could see their, you know, equipment. I could see everything. I could see their fingerprints. There's so many things to remind you that definitely they were here. That brings, you know, the picture to life a lot more than any other castle you visit, both in Ghana and outside of Ghana. Thank me later when you visit Keta. And the people are warm, welcoming, simple, easy going, but they're a lot more fast, okay? Like the people drive a lot more faster than we do in Accra. So when you go there, it's not that slow, okay? But it's not too fast. You're definitely gonna enjoy yourself over there. Number Guinea on my head, I can't remember, number five on the list is Takra day for the Christmas party from the 24th of December to April the Christmas carnival party goes on in Takra day and never ending is a city that you would love to Takra day should be one of those places you should strive to visit once you are in Ghana all right they have an airport so it can take you less than the time you spend on the road to get to which is about supposed to be if you're going via here i don't think you're going to spend more than 30 minutes or 15 but you're going by road prepare to give four good hours of your time but it saves it saves you cost so you see so definitely visit Takrade. When you go to Takrade, please make sure you visit one of my favorite towns in Ghana which is Sekendi Sekendi or Sekondi one of those two is correct. So this is second day and thank me later. Another on the list of places I recommend you visit as you come to Ghana this year or maybe next year, anytime you're seeing this video, anytime you come to Ghana is uh, Cape Coast. Cape Coast, I feel like you want to visit Cape Coast even if nobody recommends because yeah, it's one of those places that every tourist is a most visit place in Ghana. It holds a lot of history for the people of Africa, for the black people, for the people of color. Yeah, so if you are in town, I know you want to visit Cape Coast, but in case you don't have it in mind, I want you to have it in mind now and visit Cape Coast, visit so many places to visit and don't forget to visit the University of Cape Coast. And you're gonna to want to do the canopy walk at the Kakum Park in Cape Coast. So visit all of these places and thank me later when you see me, okay? These are places that I personally have been to that are not too far away from Accra that I think as a tourist you may want to visit. The reason for this is coming almost at the end part of the video is because I have this feeling that you will naturally want to visit there because me and Iburi so popular.
once you are at the Iburi town, every driver that sees you will just assume you're going to Iburi Botonica Garden. Beautiful, peaceful, calm, and just clean and green any season of the year you visit. And the weather and cold, the weather is so good. So visit these places in Ghana and don't forget to tell me thank you down there in the comment section. So I'm ending my video here today. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.